All right, guys, so let's quickly look at what is known as the Wardenburg syndrome. Wardenburg syndrome. Now, just quickly, it's just a rare genetic condition characterized by what? Congenital hearing loss and pigmentation deficiencies. See how this baby is having some crazy different color like that. So types and features is um, type 1, there is increase in the space between the corners of the eyelids or telecanthus. Right, and there's possibly a white follock or heterochromia iridis that's different coloration of the eyes. You see, type 2 is without, it's similar to type 1 but without, without telecanthus. Type 3 is known as a clean Werdenburg syndrome, so it's, there's limb abnormalities, fused fingers, okay, permanent finger contractures, and all that. Type 3 is known as what? Wardenburg Shah syndrome, associated with or huge sponge disease. So genetic causes. So it's due to mutations in these genes. Okay. Inheritance pattern. So most forms are inherited in an autosomal dominant pattern. However, some types show autosomal recessive inheritance. Okay. 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 So um, symptoms there's hearing loss. Okay. So sometimes there's hearing loss and all of that. So uh, pigmentation changes. Okay. Facial abnormalities. Have a broad nose or telecanthus. So diagnosis is just trying to look for all those what clinical stuff that I was telling you guys about. And genetic testing, right? Management is hearing aids, cochlear implants for people that have hearing loss, regular monitoring for other complications, and all of that. Okay, so that's it, guys.